education specialist and I've been working here for 12 years. The Freedom Garden is a place for uh, the women from the Center for Women and Children to come and heal their body, mind, and spirit. Uh, we've got a beautiful perennial garden area, vegetable garden area, and a greenhouse. So uh, I come on Tuesdays and Fridays. We are in the garden for an hour and a half and just depending on the time of year will determine what we do in the group. So for today we picked raspberries, we worked in the greenhouse and uh, did a little bit of weeding and then uh, just hanging out and enjoying the garden. My name is Monique and I am a client for the Center for Women and Children. I've been working in the Freedom Garden for just about two months. I started coming over here the day after I got into the center and um, it's really helped me a great deal. My favorite part of working in the garden is the planting and taking care of the greenhouse, fertilizing, and um, I just pretty much love it all. Weeding sometimes, eh, not so much, but, but yeah, I pretty much like it all. Kelsey Ivy and I am just a volunteer for um, Volunteers of America Freedom Garden. I've been doing it for over a year. I have got to come here and learn how to grow things and uh, keep plants alive whereas before I couldn't keep a plant alive to save my life and I also get to aid in growing food for the center and um, it's been an awesome experience. I'm able to bring my children with me if I need to and so that's really helpful and it's just beautiful. It's sunshine and flowers and food and plants and I love it. We were recently able to work with Carrie Gardens and they were able to come in and work with me on redesigning the garden to make it a little more easy for us to maintain in the short amount of time that we have in the garden and to make it uh, more beautiful for the women to create bouquets. The, lo the women love making um, flower arrangements to take back to the center. And so we really try to, to highlight flowers that, that women can cut and take back. And then really trying to, again, highlight the path of remembrance. So we have stones with names and ages of uh, men and women that have passed away from addiction and the women really love to come and reflect there and it has made it more of a space that they can feel comfortable in just relaxing and meditating and working on their mind, body, spirit connection. Some of the fruits and vegetables that we do grow back, go back to the kitchen over at the center. Um, I myself have already picked some herbs and stuff that have come to bloom to take over to the kitchen and have them use, which they have. And mainly we, we um, get to use all the fresh and fruit and stuff that we grow, that we plant when they're in season and the kitchen takes care of it and prepares it in our food. I think that, uh, you know, being able to grow it and then the women to be able to use it in their meals and add flavor to their meals and also all of those nutrients was such a big deal um, for them, especially when they're coming in here and they're coming in and they probably haven't had a good meal in a long time and their bodies are weak and they're sick and it's just a way to, to regain their health. And I think that that's really important. I think it's important to have the garden program for Volunteers of America Detox because it's a way to especially with the women and children, for them to bond with their children, to um, have a program that teaches them how to be self-sustaining. So when they leave, they learn all kinds of skills. They can go home, they can plant little gardens, they can learn how to grow food. Um, and it's a bonding experience. And it's about, you know, there's something about putting your hands in the dirt and you get outside of yourself and you get outside of your head. I've been able to see women uh, change their lives. So I have uh, past clients that now work with me in the garden and I get to see them thrive. I think it gives them the freedom to get outside, get some fresh air, and just 
get away from their problems and, you know, and take the time to just breathe in and contemplate on, on their goals. And anyway, that's what I've done. And it's helped me a lot.